Betty. Good morning. <laughs> so I am officially on the antibiotics that I need to be on to cure C. diff. Mm -hmm. And there's been a lot of controversy on our channel about C. diff. Okay. Let me talk about it. And I was just going to say, and I'll let Kevin <laughs> talk about that. All right. So, yeah, we're. <laughs> I, I know that if you look up um, uh, Clostridium difficile, uh, you'll find that they say it's contagious and that uh, it... Uh, you shouldn't go to the hospital if you have it, but that's not really true. Basically, uh, Clostridium difficile is a bacteria that's already in your stomach. 99% uh, of people already have it. it yes, it is um, contagious. It means you can give it to somebody, but it usually does not do anything to you unless all the other bacteria that are already present in your stomach have been killed. And that's what happens when you take uh, certain antibiotics. Um, Val, most of the antibiotics d does this to Val because she has a, uh, uh, a weakened immune system. So what happens is, what happened is she got, I'm going to talk about the pharmaceuticals that we're taking um, at risk of having this video unmonetized, but I think it's kind of important. Um, when she had that cold the other day, they prescribed her a, um, a Z-Pack. It's called azithromycin. It's a wide-spectrum uh, antibiotic. It is designed to kill many, many bacteria, and that's exactly what it did. It killed every bacteria that was in her stomach that she needed to um, digest. Now, this happens to her a lot. Now, I, I don't know why they gave her the antibiotic because she had a virus and it wasn't going to do anything anyway but we they gave it to us and we didn't think about it we just took it figured that maybe it was a bacterial infection and that they just gave it to her of course it did nothing for her cold it lingered forever but it got, got gave her the clostridium difficile which she is already in her stomach so what they have to do is get is give her a bacteria that specifically will kill that one in this case, it's called vancomycin. They used to, she used to take flagell, but they stopped using that. I just read an article saying that flagell um, ha may cause cancer, so that's why a lot of people stop using it. But vancomycin does the same thing. Um, my father in World War II used to tell me horror stories about tetracycline. It was just invented in the 1940s, and it was a wide-spectrum antibiotic that they gave to soldiers for everything. And uh, he ended up t getting exactly the same thing, although I don't know if they knew what it was back then, but they knew what happened. The doctor knew what happened. He didn't have any bacteria in his stomach, and so he made him drink a cocktail of disgusting bacteria, and it worked. And uh, they didn't do uh, it what it just reintroduced all the bacteria back into her stomach. So some people say that if you just have yogurt, that'll that'll do that. But that's just one culture of, of bacteria. That's not the whole nine yards that she needs. But that's what happens. It's not contagious in the hospital. What happens is when you're in the hospital, you're probably getting a antibiotic. And that antibiotic will kill all that gut flora that you have, and you will um, you'll end up with the one left, which is the Clostridium difficile. Lecture over. So anyway, I'm not contagious. <laughs> I'm just very tired and very run down and very weak and. Yeah, so it'll probably be a couple of days for for this new um, antibiotic to to kick in and get rid of the uh, C. diff uh, bacteria, and it's a good idea for her to go see her nephrologist for her kidneys because the vancomycin does, uh, has issues with her with kidneys, and it would be best to see a kidney doctor anyway. 
And we have that scheduled for tomorrow. Yay. And I get my cast off tomorrow. Yay. So, that was our good morning. I am going to attempt to do laundry again. I know I kind of uh, got sidetracked, but uh, actually I had to sleep on the bed with a whole mountain of clothes, which happens a lot. And uh, I will continue clearing things up. Bye. I'll probably nap. Yep. So, you saw I did the laundry, right? Exciting stuff. So, But I did also clean up in the garage quite a bit. I got floor now. On this side of the garage, I didn't get to this side yet. Look at that. What a mess. Unbelievable. But uh, I basically had to go up the stairs a million times to get that up. Plus all the doors that were up against this wall. So, that was four doors and they were pretty heavy. Tough to get up with my, with my arm the way it is. And I can't see, but uh, up front in the garage, I uh, moved all the rocks, all the stones that, uh, that I had purchased for the hearth. And that's this stuff right here. And so that means that if I'm going to trip over them now, it'll be in the, this room instead of the garage. So that's what I managed to do today. And uh, create a tripping trap for me. I trip a what now? A tripping trap. A tripping trap. Yep. Where did I make a tripping trap? Where you put the stones. Are you gonna be going through that room by you the fire? You never fireplace? know, but anywhere there's a place that I can trip over, it's a tripping trap. Okay. Yes, dear. Okay, sir, there isn't a whole lot to today's video. I showed you what we did. Uh, tomorrow I get my cast off. However, that was supposed to go with me. But Yes, I'm a little upset about this. Sorry about that. I'm a little upset about this. Um, I got a phone call today canceling my appointment for tomorrow. Um, saying that I don't need to see the nephrologist. I need to see a urologist. So the nephrologist is for your kidneys. Right, and even though I have, I'm going for kidney stones, I need to see the urologist. What upset me is that I feel like they should have called me sooner, so I could have got, made the appointment sooner. Now I have to make an appointment and wait another whatever, how many days, until a urologist can see me. Yay. So, And why didn't they just give you a, an appointment when they called you? No, they didn't. They didn't bother? No. They just canceled your appointment? Yeah. So, I'm pretty upset about that. Um, I'm feeling better with the um, D or C def. However, my kidneys are still very painful. And they... It's going to be a little bit longer now until I can get in to see my urologist. Well, boy. So, I'll drag you along with me tomorrow for my to remove my cast. Uh, but uh, then maybe I can get some more stuff done. And they thou could finish coloring. You guys want to see what I'm coloring? Groovy. Do your thing. I do my thing. 
anyway, guys, we're going to call it a night. Um, as you know, it's been a long day. Every day is getting longer for me because I'm getting tired of just sitting here. But we hope you enjoyed a little bit of something that you may have seen in our video today. If you did, please give us a favorite, a share, leave us a comment, please, and please subscribe. And we will see you guys all tomorrow. Ta-ta for now. Bye.